that went to the Indians in the wrong way, and they would lie to him. He read a book, and I said, who was the author? I said, well, them Indians lied to him. This is one my dad wrote. And all them people were standing around there. He was making a big to-do about it. I said, well, here. I said, read this. It's from the Smithsonian. He read that and turned around and walked off. <laughs> he didn't say nothing. I sold 15 prints. I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> On the count of him. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> but you always got to watch when you're an artist like me painting real history. Mm -hmm. There's always some some bitch out there like him that don't know what he's talking about. See, because I was raised here in Peggy Nose, you mm -hmm. know, with all the the guys that even the guys living today are not old enough to tell you their stories about what I'm painting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like this one here, I paint this in the so in the winter when they had their mud lodges, they they'd always camp beside a stream. See it down there? Mm -hmm. And what, they, what, what they're doing, they're going out in the morning to get water and water in their horses. See? I'll have a whole bunch in, more in here. I'll have some dogs and a wood pile and an axe and everything. But you can tell over there where I've been painting and going over and over. I finally got it right where I could finish, <laughs> where I could finish it. <laughs> well, you had yeah. to have that winter sky, too. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't realize those were big enough to put horses in. Yeah. No. Oh, I didn't tell you. In the wintertime, mm -hmm. right inside this door on this side, they had a place where you could put four or five horses. And they took in their best horses in the wintertime. They mm -hmm. kept them in there. Fed them. Mm -hmm. That's what he's bringing out here. One will be a war horse and one will be a, <clears throat> you know, one he rides for buffalo, buffalo horse and everything. And this one here. Wow. The banker uptown here. Charlie, why don't you paint one of them? Well, they're breaking horses in water. They used to do it because they, they can't buck you off, mm -hmm. you know. And they'd just hang on to the mane. And I got to do it, and I thought, I'm going to make a funny one, so I'll put big belly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is their wife. I'm going oh, yeah. to have some young guys over there like these guys are going to show them, you know. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm going to make him yelling a little harder, and I'm going to have this guy laughing at him, you know, them old guys. I'm going to make them fatter, too. And that water would be splashing and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but my banker died on me. Oh, yeah. no. So, uh, Everett. Oh, Everett. You yeah. just weren't quick enough, were you? Trying <laughs> 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 I sold it to him. Yeah, he bought it. Yeah. Guys, nice to meet you. I'm going to go round around some more. You okay. remember, right. remember what I told you now. All right. I'll look at you in 30 minutes. Look at that. Don't tear up his tractor. He'll be after you. He doesn't give me broke down all the directions and instructions. I think I can get it to go, but it's not getting any cooler. All right. You guys going to the pond after a while? Yeah. After a while, yeah. As soon as I get done with this story. All right. See you later. Playing the game, are they? See this from here back in the old days. See the Pawnee country was all in Nebraska and in, in the first quarter of, of Kansas. That was Pawnee hunting ground all the way over into Colorado. For that corner they got a place called Pawnee, uh, Pawnee Grassland up there. Well them Pawnees would go over to the mountains at times to get elk and stuff mm -hmm. like that and that's where these guys are they're up in the mountains and this is this boy's uncle and he's teaching him about things and see this right up here when i finish it there's going to be a like where they were digging for gold mm -hmm. and they had them they throw them rocks and they come down well he's going to have a little piece of gold and he's going to be telling, this boy's going to be asking him, why does it make them so crazy? Because all mm -hmm. the Indians were interested in is 
needed something to eat, you know, something mm -hmm. to make a living. They didn't know why they wanted gold so bad so mm -hmm. at this time. And that's what he's going to be explaining to this young man. They already got their meat and stuff, and they're ready to head home. I think that's going to be a pretty one when I get well, it. Oh, no, that's gorgeous. When Look at the sunshine that hit yeah. the mountains there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'm going to have sunshine hitting them. Mm -hmm. They'll be a lot brighter, you know, like they're right up here mm -hmm. next to you. That's beautiful. Yeah, where you could, you'd think you could touch them. And I had people do that to buffaloes. When I go to a painting, I'm usually behind, and it's wet. And there's a lady come up. Oh, that looks like, and just reach up there and touch oh, no. my, get away. <laughs> you might have to put a line out there or something you can't crawl. Yeah. But really, when I start this, you know, like y'all, it'll make people interested in the history. Mm -hmm. sure. you know, the history. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's why my paintings are worth so much. When I started out, I started painting history. Woody Crumble, an old master, told me, he said, Charlie, you're doing the right thing. You're Indian, you're painting and all, and you're painting your history. Mm -hmm. And he said, mm -hmm. I've been waiting on somebody to come along that, that would do that. And now they're all painting history. I'm the first one that started painting them with, with the real, how they really painted themselves. Mm -hmm. Not that Hollywood stuff like they were doing. Everybody's doing that now. But they're making a good living. Uh, which is all right. They're yeah, learning about you their the history. Door. Yes. Yeah. I got some more in there when you get done fishing, though. You better get down there so you catch some fish. <laughs> yeah. 